Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, and we'll get started on our next multiplayer matchup. This is the Siege of Narun. Uh, it's Strategic Command, 2,500 points. I'm playing as the Chaos Demons, and we're going against the Adeptus Sororitas. It's a 100 point target with a 10 point limit because it looks like it's a larger map. Now, a subscriber did ask me to provide some commentary about this map. Uh, I'm not sure if he's a creator or if he had an issue with the map and wanted to know if I was going to have an issue as well. He didn't quite specify, but he did, you know, say, can you please play this map and see what you have to think about it. Um, so shout out to him. So this is for you. He asked me to do that before I started doing the tournament series. So I want to make sure I can get this out. And as you can tell by the length of the uh, episode, unfortunately, this map is too bugged. So just like the... Um, map with the fences and stuff around it and units getting stuck this map too has that issue and unfortunately our opponent had issues where several of his units are getting uh, stuck and can't move which is unfortunate because it actually has kind of a cool appearance for the map here unfortunately I think there's a big advantage on our side of the map compared to the other side so um, that could be pretty frustrating I have kind of the standard um, for selection here but I'm not going to go into that because obviously the match ends up bugging out and then I have to cancel it but as you can see where my blood letters are there that's where our victory point is and so we're able to capture that on the very first turn here but unfortunately because of all those stairs this would be very difficult for a faction without jetpacks or hover units to capture back so that's a huge advantage uh, for our units here and then also they have to overcome the walls in order to capture these points here well except for the sides obviously um, so that also gives us a pretty heavy advantage as well so I think this would be a pretty unfair map for other opponents to have to deal with um, so in the from that perspective I don't really like this map and I can't give a ton of feedback on it without knowing where the enemy where my opponent's units are getting stuck. I did try to get the information from him but he ended up leaving the match before that happening before that happened. And then likewise here, you know, he's got the stairs, but the stairs are on my from my direction. So I get the advantage of being able to capture this point even easier than my opponent does and so that now gives me two victory points that are pretty easy for me to capture and then you'd fight over the remaining sides now there is some debris and things in here so ideally what I should have done is moved the um, bloodthirster first and then jumped the following turn in order to get to where he needed to be um, but his units can't move so he's like hey I'm going to probably end up leaving this match because at least two of my units are bugged out and now I can't even uh, get going here and it likely stopped him from being able to capture his point too. So um, just because of these, these bugs I can't recommend this map to be played until these things uh, end up getting fixed. I did try to ask him like where were your units stuck to try to give feedback in case the creator of this map was able to see but uh, he didn't provide any feedback. So as you can see there's lots of debris over here so you want to make sure if you're going to be using jump pack infantry that you make sure you either jump laterally to that or you end up uh, just moving and then jumping the following turn to be able to get here otherwise you waste a ton of movement uh, getting up here to capture that point. But a faction like Tyranids or something with their gargoyles would have a huge advantage against other factions on a map like this by being able to cross all this elevated uh, terrain. And so just kind of moving these guys around so you can see, kind of get an idea of how the map is set up here. You would engage ideally on these ramps. You would run these guys down. But as you can see, there's so many stairs and pathways here. It just take would take too long to capture that without hover infantry and then with these fighting over the stairs here outside the fortification you know I'm at an elevated position so my guys are gonna have better chances of hitting his units as he's trying to come over here to uh, fight me so for that reason I'd have huge advantages to capture these points now perhaps if you're doing like a siege map or something this could be a pretty fun map to be able to use that objective on so you would you know you would expect to have some pretty significant obstacles to have to overcome in order to uh, 
capture these points, but as for a strategic command objective, it's just got kind of a bad design because of the uh, significant advantages that, in this in this example, my my faction would have. Uh, because everything, I'm at the elevated positions. I don't have to worry. I have closer access to the stairs. Um, all these things would make this uh, more advantageous map for me playing in this position than uh, the our opponent. So you know, you just set up your overwatches on the elevated position here, and then he would have significant accuracy penalty shooting up over the elevation, whereas we would get advantages shooting down. So because of uh, the bugs and everything, our opponent did end up leaving, unfortunately. But again, I can't fault him for that because I would have left too if you know multiple units were bugged out and I couldn't capture the point. So. Hopefully that gives some feedback to uh, the creator of this map. I assume, like I said, that the person who asked me to specifically play this map is either because he had bugs on it and then he wasn't able to successfully complete it or because he was the maker of the map and just wanted some feedback and to show off his map. I will say it's got kind of a very cool ambiance to it, though. It's definitely got a... Um, good vibe and uh, interesting terrain and set up very interestingly you know going from outside attacking a fortification but because of how the setup is on the command points I just think it's too one-sided so from a strategic command objective I don't think it's very competitive I think it would be a good map for the siege map though uh, for sure uh, for the siege objective I mean uh, alternatively you know the exterminatus could be okay too I guess uh, but it still has some slight advantages but it those would be nullified because you're then fighting uh, trying to kill each other's units and you're not going to be having to run through all the stairs and everything like that so hopefully that gives some feedback and uh, that's what you were looking Looking for your message was kind of opaque, so I didn't know what as aspect you wanted me to comment on. Um, but that would be my, you know, basic information on this map. I wouldn't recommend it. Don't download it at this point in time because it seems to be buggy. And if you're doing it for strategic command, I don't think it's a very competitive map. Uh, like I said, fun. It would be fun for siege if it's set up to to be able to be compatible with siege objectives and it would also probably be a decent map for the exterminatus objective potentially but for strategic command i think there's definitely much more appealing maps that would be more competitive so hopefully that helps you thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying these videos if you are please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you i'll keep trying to make through some videos with these custom maps and also take part in the tournaments that as they become available and if i'm able to get uh slots into it because sometimes they're pretty restricted likewise sometimes i have to travel for work so i can't i don't like doing tournaments if i can't guarantee that i'm going to be able to play because i don't think that's really fair to my opponent now that they've changed the bonus objectives for or the bonus point allocation to the tournaments it's you know less detrimental if you can't play but again it it's not fun to play in a tournament match and then you end up getting max points because your opponent isn't able to play his turns i mean i don't think that's very fun either so i out of fairness to my opponent i'm only going to take part in tournaments if i know for sure i'm going to be able to uh, complete my matches and then likewise then I can upload them for you guys to get some different uh, ideas on playing the tournaments you know now that I've done several of them you know I've got a match is set up with the Space Marines uh, the last one I did a combination between the Tau and the Necrons just because I felt the Tau were too OP and I didn't want to do a whole tournament with the Tau sure I would have scored a lot higher but I just don't want to play an overpowered faction at this point in time. I think they still need to be nerfed. So in terms of other, in the future tournaments, maybe I'll play around with the Orcs, the Tyranids, and uh, Chaos Demons. They're definitely going to be harder to utilize, but I'll see if I can come up with some different faction selections or unit force selections with them to try to make them a little more competitive. But I will say I have not seen, or, or Adeptus Sororitas, um, but I don't see them regularly used on the tournaments because they're definitely either much harder or not quite as competitive. Um, you definitely feel with the Tyranids that they lack really good anti-armor units, so that's kind of their main detriment at this point in time. I was kind of sad to see that they didn't uh, get their anti-armor stuff buffed. I was kind of hoping one of the bonus units was going to be focused specifically on doing anti-armor damage, but that's not the case because uh, the Hive Guards, which are by far their most powerful anti-vehicle unit, it has such slow range that it's hard to get them in there to do the damage. So 
with that, I will sign off. I apologize if you're disappointed with uh, this matchup since it was uh, shorter and not a true multiplayer matchup. But I, in addition to giving the you know multiplayer matches, I want to give some feedback on these new custom maps because I think it's definitely going to breathe a new life into this game and some of these maps the custom maps have been really good and hopefully we'll continue to get more options so that way we have more maps to play around with because um, it gets tiring to use the same maps over and over again and there's tons of online maps now so it's cool to be able to play around with them so with that i will sign off thanks for watching guys and take it easy